Hey guys, my name is Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make beans and rice. Or like, I'm from Louisiana, so we like to eat a lot of red beans and rice. And the way you make red beans is a very particular way. The only Dr. Sebi approved beans are our chickpeas or garbanzo beans, whatever one you want to call it. The only approved rice is um, wild rice. So I'm going to try my best to, well, I mean, I've already made it and it came out great. So I'm just, I'm just making this video so you can, you guys can make it too. So I guess it's like a recipe. got these chickpeas um, from Vitacost. Well, my mom bought them. I'm not sure how much they cost. But we get our wild rice from Trader Joe's and it's only like 5.30 something for a pound, for a pound of wild rice as well. Um, I use two uh, two bags of these because I'm cooking it for my family for dinner tonight. And this bag is a pound, so I use two pounds of beans. And I cook them, I cook the beans for, honestly I cook them for about three hours. And then we have to cook them some more. Chickpeas take a long time to cook. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I have my uh, chickpeas here and then I have like the water I strain for it. We're gonna put these chickpeas back in the pot and then we're gonna cook them down to make them like more creamy. That makes sense. Oh, and I forgot to mention we're also gonna be making fried chicken. I, I never understand like why people, like I understand it, but it's like, it's basically just fried mushrooms. So like don't tell people it's fried chicken, even if it's like veganized because like no mushroom is gonna taste like chicken. So we're making beans and rice and fried mushrooms. Okay. My chickpeas in this big pot. Um, I already cooked them in this. I'm just putting them back in there and then I'm going to add some water. So I just added enough water to basically cover the beans. You don't want to, I wouldn't add more than that because your beans are already cooked. So I'm just going to let these simmer in this pot until they start getting creamy. And I think I'm going to put it at like six. So with beans, you have to have, like you can't just eat beans. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? You got to spice it up. So, so we usually add like smoked sausage or something. Or is it gizzards? You know what? <laughs> For the most part, we would usually just add like smoked sausage, but instead, I'm gonna use trumpet mushroom. Okay, so this is a trumpet mushroom. Um, we buy like the unusual type of mushrooms, like trumpet mushroom, oyster mushroom, or whatever. We buy those from the Asian markets. That's just where we're able to find them. And I just picked this because it's firmer than your typical. Um, baby Bella or just like white mushrooms and I mean it's not gonna taste like meat but at least it's not gonna be like mushy you know like it'll give you that imaginary meat component you know so, <laughs> so I'm gonna chop this up along with some seasonings okay so for seasonings we're gonna use um, just like a bunch of tri-colored bell peppers and then I have a white onion here and a, and a red onion uh, Y'all know what onions look like. So I'm gonna prep these, chop them up, and then we're gonna cook them. So we're there, they're ready to like be added into the beans when the beans are done. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta season your food. You can't just use salt and pepper, you know, you gotta but we can't use pepper anyway. You gotta spice it up, okay? Okay, so the chickpeas finished cooking, so I'm gonna show you guys that. Okay, so these are the chickpeas. Oh, they're nice and creamy. Um, I had to let them cook for about an additional two hours for them to get like this. So if you're making this for dinner, like don't try to start at six o'clock. Maybe you should like start cooking at like 12 in the afternoon. I'm gonna cook my raw rice uh, next. I mean, there isn't really anything for me to tell you about the raw rice, just to cook it according to the directions. You can soak it or you cannot soak your 
Like some people will soak their wild rice overnight so it'll cook faster, but it's kind of just like all up to you. I didn't soak mine and I'm just gonna cook it like it says on the back of the package and honestly it takes about an hour to cook too, so. Okay, so I have my wild rice going in this in this um, pot right here and now we're gonna saute up our seasoning in this cast iron skillet. So this is all the seasoning that I cut up from earlier, the red onion, the white onion, the bell peppers, and the trumpet mushrooms. And we're gonna let that saute down and then we're gonna add that into the chickpeas. Completely forgot to season the, the chickpeas. You season everything. You season your chickpeas and you season your seasoning. Like, you season it at every step. Sea salt. This is onion powder. Okay, that was a lot. And some basil. We usually, I will usually add um, some cayenne as well, but um, my little scissors are gonna be eating it too and they're gonna say it's too spicy, so. And I'm gonna season my trumpet mushrooms and the rest of my seasonings the exact same way. And you just, I don't have exact measurements for seasoning. You just season it to your liking because, I mean, everybody has different taste buds, I guess. Okay, so I have let my seasoning and trumpet mushroom saute for about 10 minutes. And they're, they're done. So I'm going to add them to my chickpeas. And like I said, I already seasoned both my chickpea and my um, my seasonings and mushrooms. And it's hard to do this with one hand. <laughs> You know what, y'all y'all get the picture. I need both of my hands. Okay, so the chickpeas are all done and mixed up. The wild rice is still going and now we're gonna start from the fried chicken. Okay, the oil is already, it's nice and hot. Um, I have my oyster mushrooms right here. I opened these two packs, but I don't think I'm gonna use them. The YouTube video I'm following is from a girl whose name is, the channel is called The Jamaican Vegan, and she has a recipe for vegan fried um, mushrooms, and all the ingredients are Dr. Sabia approved. So what I have right here is white spelt flour, onion powder, and basil. And then I have the same thing in here, but I added some Perrier water. This is Perrier water, as we, it's, it's basically just carbonated uh, water, and I added some of that in here. And what you're supposed to do is take your oyster mushroom and dump it in the flour, and then like put it in there, and then like put it back in the flour, and then put it in the skillet. And I want to say this is like an inch to half an inch of oil, maybe half an inch, I'm not exactly sure. But I mean like just use your best judgment, I guess. I never did this before, I'm kind of nervous. <gasps> what does this look like? This is like fried okra. Look like a little chicken drum or something. Like a little okay. small chicken wing. This, I only made four. I kind of want to test them out to make sure I need to like change them up before I make the rest of them. So this is the first one. Ooh, it's hot. Okay, it's really hot. That piece just tastes like straight crust. The crust tastes good though. Yeah. 
tastes good. It don't taste like chicken, but like the seasoning tastes like chicken, but you know, like the mushrooms don't taste like chicken. I like it. Okay, so here are the chickpeas. Um, I already mixed in some of the wild rice, but I guess in case anybody wants like extra wild rice, they can add that in there. And then here are all of the fried mushrooms. Okay guys, this is the finished product. I usually do like a good job at plating, but for some reason, I just don't know. I just don't know how to plate this well enough. Okay guys, so that's going to be the end of the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!